kitchen let's do together the rava gulab jamun let's have a look at the ingredients what you need i need about half cup of the semolina now the semolina i'm going to fry a little bit i need some cardamom powder little bit of ghee or butter um, whatever you like one teaspoon or one tablespoon whichever you can add i mean one teaspoon is enough for us and one and a half cup of the sugar one and a half cup of the milk one cup of the water little bit of rose essence so i'm going to first fry the rava i'm going to fry the rava now you don't have to fry too much just a little bit heat just open from your packet just add it little it till it gets little hot that's all you did not fry it brown or anything just touching and see it's hot okay now i'm going to heat the milk i've added one and a half cup of the milk there and let the milk get boiled so i'll add about one and a half cup in fact uh, one and a half is enough but i want little more say another quarter cup more because in my house everybody wants more of syrup when they have it so that's only reason that i'm adding and then one and a half cup of the sugar we're just making the sugar syrup okay another one and a half and then we're going to allow this boil let the sugar syrup form in the meanwhile the milk is boiled here i'm going to add in the semolina and we will cook the semolina very well okay. we're going to add the 1 teaspoon of the butter butter ghee whatever you like you can add okay and let it form thick just making the semolina become thick by doing this to leave the side and come it's cooked you see see how thick it has become now right we're going to off the flame now now just open the and so it is still lightly warm bearable you can hold it in your hand it's not that you can't mix it like okay see when i touched without grease my hand it's all getting stuck right so what i am doing i'm just adding about the all above the butter in my hand just little bit just in my hand so that they don't stick to my hand like okay and then i'm going to give it a good mix i wash my hands well and then now i'm going to take in small size of the ball see how they form like this okay kuku sitting on my shoulder now yeah you're also making gulab jamun with me baby huh okay why am i not going down to play now kuku want to good boy when i start frying you'll have to go I don't like you be on my shoulder because it's hot oil. Okay? You have to go then. So now I'm making my Okay. Kuku good boy. Hmm? Say hi. Say hi to them. Say hi. Want to see Kuku? See Kuku here. Say hi. Say hi. is that it 
you know the moment i make oil heating up he knows that i'm making some savory something he doesn't like sweet but anything spicy uncontrollable he is then without giving him he will not spare us now he knows that because i have already started to heat the oil for uh, the gulab jamuns to be fried so his nostrils are great he gets the smell so much so now he's running around everywhere saying he came up to my shoulder looking what i'm making now so he knows now i'm doing something so he has to get his share what i did as i said earlier i have made just rough like this and i have put here and then i wash my hands because what's happening is each time i'm taking see how it's forming here i don't like like that okay right so like that so i'm going to do all of them let me do all of them then come back to you i'm at the far end of the last one now to do so what i'm doing is the last gulab jamun to be shaped and round how pretty right i've heated the kadai here and the oil is hot there and i'm going to drop in these batch by batch Like that, fry all the batches and take it out. The syrup is little warm now. I've added the uh, cardamom powder. To it, I'll add some rose water. It's optional. If you don't like, you can just avoid that. Okay. Take a bowl of this. Just make some holes using a toothpick. Just dunk it into the syrup. Now the gulab jamuns are getting soaked very well here in this water syrup, and uh, let them nicely bloat, and they'll absorb all the syrup in it, and they'll become yum to eat. Thank you for watching me here. Happy cooking, happy eating.